Hi Mason, Lucy. It's been a long time since I've done a story for you and this is a very old story that I told you I would do for you called Little Red Riding Hood. Now you probably remember Little Red Riding Hood lived in the forest with her mom and one day her grandmother was very very sick and so Little Red Riding Hood's mom called her over to ask her to do a favor. Hi Red! Well, your grandma's sick in bed, and she would like some cookies. And I don't want to walk all the way over there in the woods, so why don't you take them over for her? But you be careful. I don't want you stopping to pick flowers. I don't want you talking to any strangers. You be very, very careful. Okay, you know the way. She lives in the little white house in the middle of the woods. laugh. I'm telling a story here. Oh yes, Mama. Uh, I'll go straight there and I won't talk to anybody and I won't be fooling around. I'll just take the cookies to her. Now, Little Red Riding Hood was a pretty good girl. She had some nice friends that she played with all the time, and sometimes they tried to get in trouble. Her friend Goldilocks. <laughs> well, you know what she did. Well, anyway, she started off with a basket of cookies on the way through the forest, going to go straight to Grandma's house and not stop and talk to anybody, not pick any flowers. But when she was part way there, she saw some beautiful, beautiful flowers growing in the woods. Those are beautiful flowers. I think I'll pick some just for my grandma. She'll love them. Now, picking flowers isn't too bad, but it does slow you down a little bit, and before she knew it, there was somebody down the path that was looking at her. Now, uh, who's this walking in my woods? It's Little Red Riding Hood. And he talked to her. Hey, little girl, what you doing? Come here, talk to me. Who are you? What? I would never hurt you. I'm not supposed to talk to you. But I could show you a shortcut. No way. I'm going straight to my grandma's house. She lives in a little white house. In the middle of the forest, yeah. But I'm not going to tell you where she lives. Okay, I understand. No problem. Now she knew better. And so, as soon as the big bad wolf turned his back, she ran like crazy to get to Grandma's house. Now what she didn't know is the big bad wolf really did have a shortcut and he got to grandma's house first and he knocked on the door now grandma didn't know that the big bad wolf was pretending to be little red riding hood because she couldn't hear very well what who's there It's Little Red Riding Hood. Come on in. I've been wondering when you are going to come. So she invited him in. You're not Little Red Riding Hood. Go away. Well, the next thing you know, the big bad wolf grabbed Grandma and he was just getting ready to eat her up when there was a knock at the door again. I'm going to eat you up. Hi, Grandma. It's me. It's Little Red Riding Hood. So the big bad wolf grabbed Grandma and he tied her up and he put her in the closet and said, You be quiet. I don't want to hear from you. I'm going to lock you in the closet. Now keep your mouth shut. And he closed the door and he took Grandma's hat and put it on his head. 
and he got into bed and pulled the blanket up and told Little Red Riding Hood to come in. Come in, my dear. G Grandma, your voice sounds kind of funny. Oh, I have a really bad sore throat. Yeah, that's it. I just a thought. Come in, come in. Oh, you're such a nice girl. You, you brought me cookies. You, you picked the flowers just for me. Come a little closer. Grandma, what big ears you have. Oh, the better to hear you with, my dear. Uh, Grandma, what big eyes you have. Uh, the better to see you with, my dear. Grandma, what a big nose you have. The better to smell you with, my dear. Grandma, what big teeth you have. The better to eat you with, my dear. Come back here. I'm going to get you! Come back here! Now, while the wolf was busy chasing Little Red Riding Hood, she was screaming and yelling, Help me! Help me! And meanwhile, when Grandma heard that, she started banging on the closet door and she's yelling, Help me! Help! And it wasn't long before a woodcutter, who was out chopping down trees in the woods, heard this screaming. What's that I hear? It sounds like a little girl. Someone's in trouble. Help me! Help me! That wolf is going to try to eat that little girl. I'll save her. And so the woodsman ran into the house with his axe, and he took a swing at the wolf and chopped his tail right off. his hat and off he went. I won't be back for you guys. And I hear that the woodcutter and grandma got to be very good friends. Oh, thank you kind sir for saving my life and saving the life of my little granddaughter. I will remember you forever. Oh, okay, Grandma. And Little Red Riding Hood? Well, she never talked to strangers, and she never told them again where she was going to be going, because that's not a very good thing to do.